Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday haul. It is Friday, March 29th, Good Friday. Uh, hope you guys are doing well, and if you're celebrating Easter weekend, Happy Easter to you. My sister and uh, most of our family are coming later on today, along with the family friends, so I'm looking forward to spending the whole weekend with them. I've been busy this week, uh, cooking, shopping, cleaning, all that stuff in preparation. So, um, but of course I do have some crafty things to uh, share with you. So let's get started. Uh, if you noticed, my nails are different than last week. Last week I had tried the uh, gel nail polish that Nail Reserve sent me and I really liked it. It lasted um, about a week, which for me is pretty good, like I told you. Um, and I was really hard on my hands this week doing the cleaning and stuff. So I'm sure it will last longer next time I do it but um since Easter is coming up I wanted my nails to look nice so I just took it off yesterday and put on um, some press-on nails and it was very easy to take off you know I just used those nail wraps that I showed you guys from Dollar Tree and soaked them with some uh, polish remover for like 15 minutes and and the, the nail polish came right off so uh, yeah, I was happy with them. I'll do it again, definitely. But for now, I just decided to put on these Kiss nails. So anyway, that's the update for that. I got some things from Timo. I ordered because I needed more charging cords. These are um, iPhone charging cords. And I like these because they're 10 feet long. So, the, you know, they can reach around a couch and stuff like that. And these work well. They don't get hot. I've had them before. Uh, both me and my kids use these, so, you know, I need new ones every now and then, and I love these colors. I'll link everything down below from Timu. This three-pack was $5.92 when I ordered it, so that's really good for a 10-foot iPhone uh, charger cable, so I got those. And then I picked up two packs of these little strawberry cabochons. I just thought they were so cute, and they were so cheap. They were $1.48 for each pack, and there were, let's see, there's 30 in each of them. So, um, you know, I figured while I was ordering, I love strawberries, might as well get the a good assortment and get two packs. So they're, they're really well made. They're nice, you know, I don't know, acrylic, I guess. I don't think they're resin. Little strawberries and they have different color stems and different color flowers on them. And they look like they have stitching detail on them too, which is so cute. So these are all the colors that it comes with. Um, I like the pink ones the best, but I think all of them will have a place in crafting. So I picked those up. I also picked up this pack of super cute beads. They're ice cream cones and ice cream. So it comes with 20 pieces. So I guess it's 10 of, 10 of each. Let's see. I did make a project. I'll show you in a second. But um, this was three fifty eight when I got them for the set. So let's see, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, ten of each. So it comes with the little cones, which are really cute and iridescent. And they say Barbie for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, it says Wow on the other side. You can't really see it, so it's just interesting. It says that. So anyway, there are the different colors. There's yellow, like a white, this greenish color, um, purple, and I think that's it. Just like two of each, I think. Yeah. Oh, this one's kind of bluish. And then um, it comes with the, with the ice creams, too. So different colors of those. You can mix and match. You can use other things for the ice cream. But I did um, use these in a project I'll show you in one second I just want to show you something else first so that was 358 like I said and then I got these beatable pens and this comes let's see there are 10 in here and this is 368 this is a mixture of pink and aqua so those are the colors I always use so I figured I'd get this um, variety they have other ones of course they have really pretty beatable pens out now I remember when I first started doing them or when they first became popular they were all just like you know you'd get like a pack of 10 and they would be like primary colors and stuff but I like that they have these pastels and they have like ombre rainbow ones that were really pretty but I just figured I'd use these so I got this pack 
which was um, 368. I forget if I said that or not. So let me show you what I made with those two things. Um, I made a beautiful pen and I used a pink one, obviously. And there's the ice cream bead with the with the cone. Isn't that cute? So I just put that on the, the pen with these two like clear kind of yellow beads. And these were from that pack that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. And they, you know, it fits perfectly. You just have to experiment and see what beads, you know, look nice together and what fits exactly on the space that you have. You want to still be able to screw the top on. But uh, yeah, it's so cute, right? And then you just twist the bottom and it, it um, open so you can use it as a pen. So I thought that was a really cute summery kind of one. You could either, even add like a jump ring or something on the top and then add some charms coming down. But you know, just basically that's really, really cute, I thought. And then I made this one too. This one I used the, the uh, gumball machine bead that I showed you in another Timu haul. And I think they've restocked since then because they sold out right after I got these. But if they're still restocked, I'll, I'll link that down below too. So I used the white one and then I had these like rainbow uh, raspberry beads in my stash. So I put that on top and then just this little like jewelry spacer on top to kind of look like the top of a gumball machine. I couldn't make it too tall because then this, this like hot pink bubble gum bead wouldn't fit. So I just used a spacer and I think it kind of looks like a gumball machine, right? And I did like these two beads on either side of the gumball machine too. Just kind of, you know, kind of frames it. So I thought those came out so cute and, you know, so quick to put together. I also made a little charm with the uh, gumball machine beads. So I uh, just wanted to show you that too. I used a purple one, the same rainbow bead. And then I used, let's see, this is a little spacer as well that I just had in, you know, my jewelry stuff and put it on a jump ring and then a little lobster claw clasp too. And I did um, make the, did I? No, I used an eye pin actually, like one of the like two inch eye pins. And I just stacked the things on here. And actually, no, it was on this one. I put in a little Heishi bead under the under the bead because it sunk a little bit too far down. Um, so I wanted to just raise it up a little bit, but so you wouldn't see the, the Heishi bead. So that fit perfectly. I didn't think I needed it here for some reason. It just, I think because it, it hangs from the top, it kind of like pulls it up a little bit. So you don't, it doesn't really sink down. So anyway, isn't that a cute little charm? Just thought I'd show you since I was showing, showing you these other ones. So there's that, and I think that's all from Timo. Yep, um, I went to Five Below. I've been going there kind of often for like Easter basket stuff, but I ended up getting myself stuff. <laughs> so I got these Hello Kitty figurines, and this is the Hello Kitty and Milk Carton, and they had a few different varieties. I got another pack a few weeks ago that I forgot to show you. I got this one, that Tuxedo Sam and the ice cream. I think that one is so cute, and they look like they're flocked. I haven't opened them yet. They have a couple of other varieties as well. Um, there was one that I didn't see that um, was online. It's like Hello Kitty and a cheeseburger. And I have like a Hello Kitty cheeseburger shirt. I know I'm 54 years old, but so what? You could still like Hello Kitty, right? So anyway, I'll put these on display in my craft room. And uh, yeah, I think those are really cute. And these were $5 each. And then I got these rubber ducks, the Hello Kitty and Friends. They had another pack that had Hello Kitty and a couple other characters, but I thought this one was so cute with the My Melody one and Cinnamon Roll and Tuxedo Sam. And I figured since I had the Sam um, figure, I would get the duck too. So. He's so cute. Oh, these are adorable. And so what? You know, if I'm going to use them as inspiration, then why not, right? So that's what I got at Five Below. Um, I ordered from QVC this past weekend. They had a free shipping day. And I was looking at their lunchtime specials, which they have every day between 11 and 4 or something like that. So these items are on sale for that time. And so I saw this, like tray table thingy. So this is what it looks like. And it's called a, okay, Peace Love World Desktop Keyboard Organizer. So I'm not going to use it for my uh, desktop or, you know, keyboard. I'm going to use it just as a little storage shelf in my craft room. And if you put it on a desk, you still have like room under here to put stuff. So I'm going to probably put this, probably not on my table here. I think 
on my counter because I need some more vertical space there. And this way, you know, you could add your pens or pokey tools or whatever. This would be good, I think, as an addition to like your die cutting station. You know, you could put your um, extra plates in here and just, you know, little doodads, whatever you want. And it's so cute. It's got the heart in there. And then it says on the side, today is a good day. And it's a really nice, like sturdy piece. They also had blue and white. And the original price was $20, but for the lunchtime special that day, it was $3.99. So $3.99 plus free shipping, it was like $4.20 something. So I couldn't resist. And I did go and look at it today, and it's uh, it's on a clearance price at $8.99, and it's like $5.50 shipping. So if you, if you want something like this, keep an eye on it for because they go back to lunchtime specials every now and then. You know, they recycle some of the old ones if they didn't sell at the clearance price. So uh, keep an eye on this. This says, it's called sage, but it didn't look sage on screen. So I took a chance and yeah, it's a mint green. It's not sage at all, obviously. It matches my desk and my nails. And so yeah, I thought it was really cute and a good, you know, we're always looking for craft room storage, right? So I got that. And then, oh, I, this is boring, but I got this at Target. I used these for my glass cutting mat and it works really, these work really well to get glue off. And if you have a glass, uh, you know, cutting mat too, these are, these are great. And these are in like the, uh, you know, uh, not the hygiene side, like the first aid section by Band-Aids and stuff. So I got that. And I just got in an order from a cherry on top. I ordered, uh, what is this? Oh, this must be the bottom of, oh, okay. I think this is the bottom of the, yeah, this goes here to, to protect, I guess. But where's the other one? I don't know. Maybe it's in the box. But anyway, so back to my cherry on top order. I was looking at them, which I do frequently, and I needed, my excuse for ordering was I needed another one of these uh, scrapbook adhesives, easy runners, and this is the one that, that's good for vellum. And I was making those vellum bags and ran out of these, so I picked up another one. And then uh, Pebbles has a new collection out called Fun in the Sun, and I like to get new summery collections collections and this one was really pretty. I just love pebbles. It's just such a cheerful uh, line that American crafts have. They they do summer and birthday stuff really well I think. So I got the 12 by 12 paper pad and it comes with foil accents. It's 24 double-sided sheets and let's see any other information. This is just a overview of what's in here but I will definitely show you. So let's go through it. I just opened it up. I didn't really look through it. So there's this page with the surfboards. These would be fun to fussy cut, I think. So there's that. And then the back is this like wavy print. The next page is this really pretty plaid and it's got kind of like a textured look to it. Let me bring it up so you can see it. See, it's kind of like watercolory, you know, not just like solid stripes. And then the back is this orange with little tiny pink spots on it. And then next we have this sun, which is so pretty. It's got the, the rays in different colors. That's, that's cute. I've never seen something like that before. And the back is this kind of magenta uh, print with seashells on it. And then here are some cut-aparts, which are foiled. And these are really, really cute. Look at that cherry stamp. How cute is that? Those would go good on the... Um, that waffle flower postage stamp die and stamp set. Yeah, I am thinking about that for sure. Seize the day, fun in the sun, good vibes only. So now's the time to pick up your summer collections because summer crafting is gonna be here before you know it. Look at that that ice cream with the, with the smile on it. That's adorable. Very, very cute. And I'm assuming I didn't get my KS Craft package yet for April. I told you I was guest designing for them. And um, I'm assuming there'll be some summery things in there. So, and I'm sure Erica will have some too. And there is the back. Sorry, bumping the tripod. I'll, I'll try and zoom in in a post here. <laughs> and then there's this page that has all the, the fun words on it, getaway, sandy toes, and salty kisses. Look at that pretty um, iridescent foiling. Good vibes, vibes, happiness, hello lovely. Just a quick overview. You, 
you could fussy cut these or just use the whole page. And then, sorry, my tripod is right in front of me, so I'm always bumping it. And then we have the green and blue striped here, stripe here. I should do like an overhead camera, right? Here's, oh, that one's so cute. I love the back of that one with all the, the sea friends, marine friends, seahorses and starfish or sea stars, crabs, lobsters. And there's beach umbrellas, pineapples. Oh, so cute. And then this page is like the inside of a watermelon. And if you can see, it's kind of like mottled pink and red. That's really, that's really cute. And then there's like a magenta purple uh, with like a little bit of a grid on it. Here's a big, I think these are hibiscus, right? Flowers. That's, that's really big. I like this side better, but just because it's smaller. And these are pretty like pink daisies. This is really pretty. It looks like a boardwalk or just some very weathered wood boards and they're, they have aqua paint on them. Really nice. And then the starfish or sea stars is the right word, right? Here are some popsicles that are foiled. So cute. Oh, I love that. Love that. And the back is, um, let's see, it's fuchsia with a grid on it. I'm just feeling it because it's got like this, the texture from the foiling kind of came through on the back. So yeah, if you're, if you were going to use just the fuchsia part, it wouldn't look that great because of that texture. But um, I'm sure most people would use the popsicle part. This lemon print is so pretty with the bright green backgrounds and cheery lemons. So nice. And then next we have a lime green with little white dots on it. And then here are some tags that are foiled. Look at this pair here. That's a pair, right? Beachy vibes only. And he's chilling in his tube with a little tropical drink, just hanging out. That is so cute. And there's a mermaid, beach days and bonfire nights. So cute. Love and sunshine, making waves. Look at the strawberry, sun kissed, lazy days and lemonade. I probably have told you this before. I don't like the summer just because I don't like being hot, but I love the beach. I grew up on Long Island and, you know, grew up on the beach. So that's always nice to go to the beach. But if I'm not at the beach, I don't want it to be hot. And then there is blue and white stripe. That's nice. It looks like a like a linen print, you know. And then looks like we're repeating because this is the same as the back. Yep. So I guess uh, two of each of 12 designs. Really nice paper pad. They also have the six by eight. Um, but I wanted to have the option of making bigger projects. I got a few of the accessories too. I picked up the puppy stickers. There are 57 there and just all those cute little icons. They're so cute. Look at the rainbow. There's a hot dog, cute sun. Um, this looks like that sun from those new beads from Hobby Lobby, which I still haven't picked up for some reason. I have to get those. There's a strawberry. This is so cute. Oh, that's cool. They have a, a black and a white mermaid. I love that they're incorporating, you know, different colors. And then, yeah, it's just really, really cute. So those are the puppy stickers. And then I got these enamel stickers as well. And I like these because they have the, the circles, but then they also have little seashells in different sizes and stars in different sizes too. And there's like fuchsia, yellow, purple, mint green, and blue. Just really pretty, bright, saturated colors. And then I also got the ephemera and there's 74 pieces in here. Now, can I, oh, oh good, I can open these without it, um, you know, spilling out all over the place so we could show you. Um, I was just cleaning out, I have this like, organizer rack in my craft room. And I have my Maggie Holmes stuff in there. Not really the paper pads, but the like chipboard and ephemera and stickers and all that stuff. And some of the ephemera is just falling out because they don't have the nice pockets like this. And anyway, I, I am planning on doing a tour of my craft room soon. I've been trying to organize first. But these are the pieces of ephemera, so cute. Sweet summertime, we punch those out. Oh, I guess you have to punch them out yourself, huh? Little hot dog. Gus, my cat, who you guys have seen sometimes, his favorite food in the world is a hot dog. So, <laughs> I mean, we just give him a little piece every now and then, but uh, he even had a collar that had hot dogs on it. 
So there's Beachside Bliss, Easy Breezy, Pretzel, Star Sea Star. Um, those look like, uh, yeah, not sand dollars, sea stars. Suitcase, Enjoy This Moment, Lime Slice. Oh, that came out of this one. Endless Fun, Orange, Hat. Oh, there's that pair. So cute. So those go in the top one. And then the bottom one. And they're a good size, too. They're good for ephemera and cards and layouts. You know, not too terribly big. Anyway, the ones in the top pocket. These might be bigger. Oh, these have some bellum. Nice. There's a leaf. And, oh, the sun with the different color rays. That's so pretty. These would be good on uh, vellum bags. Cute flip-flops, umbrella, the leaf, jellyfish, floaty, the radio. Oops, I dropped one. Hello, sunshine. Cute, cute, cute. So I'll just go quickly through these, but you can you get the idea of what's in here. Lots of accessories. I love that they put the cute little faces on them. And some of them don't have it, so you can, you know, use them for different kinds of projects. Starberry with sunglasses, love it. Look at that watermelon's got attitude. He's got his floaties on and his sunglasses. He's like, I'm ready for the beach. There's a little uh, surf shack. That orange is on a skateboard. Oh, look how cute this one is. Snack shack. That's adorable. And look at the little smiley lemon or orange or lime, whatever that is. I can't see the color really. And then, oh, a little oyster and watermelon. So cute these are. Oh my gosh. Same castle picture, flower, rainbow, this mermaid, sunny days ahead, a banana, and that. So yeah, that's all I got from a cherry on top. Super cute stuff, right? Looking forward to doing some summer crafting. And yeah, I'm still, like I said, still organizing my craft room. Um, I've had a little lull between design team stuff this week. So it's been working out good since I had so much to do to get ready. And in between, I've been trying to organize in here too. So it does look much better, I must say, looking around. But yeah, so soon I'll have my tour. Um, Erica, the Scrap Diva Designs April release is going to be on April 3rd third this time instead of April 1st just to just to let you guys know in case you're wondering I'm sure she'll announce that or she probably did already but um, she told the design team so I thought I would just keep you posted as well and yeah I guess that is it I have another Timu order coming and let's see I think that's all the orders I have coming. But um, yeah, I'm sure I'll get some more stuff to share with you next week and tell you about Easter. I'd love to hear what you guys are up to. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And if everyone would give a thumbs up, that really helps me and my channel. So I appreciate it so much. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, otherwise, happy Easter, happy weekend. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.